Regardless if they're his biological parent, you can't trust them. You signed the papers and you're kicking them out! I'm upset. Yo, yo, Dax! How are they able to hail a cab? They're able to hail a cab easier than I'm able to hail a cab. <laughs> This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Tomcat. Cause when you can't catch them, you might as well stick them. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna find ya! I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya! Two Freckled Friends! Hold on. Crackhead is outside yelling. Do that. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. Thanks so much for tuning into this brand spanking rodent-filled episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you like your pests friendly with a smile, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, we're keeping it furry. No, I'm not excited about this. This is one of those rolls on the Monopoly board where we land on go to jail and we're not paying to get out. We're gonna roll our three turns and take our time and save our money. She's going to jail. Officer, she rolled three doubles in a row. That's illegal in these parts. Happens. Brooke, why don't you tell everyone out there what we are watching this week? We're watching 1999, Stuart Little, who made this? I never watched it in full. We love the cast selection. Satisfaction in this case is not guaranteed. If you're brand new to our channel, what we're going to do is Brooke and I will watch Stuart Little. We will give our thoughts, and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, the 19 1999 furry friends because <laughs> we don't have real friends in life anymore anyway might as well talk to rodents it is the one the only it's Stuart Little let's roll it didn't he drive like a blue was the car blue well we're about to find out aren't we here we go and three two one play They had a full size bed. Can't I come? You have to go to school, George. I'm gonna play ball with them. I'm gonna wrestle with them. How will you know if you're picking the right one? No, well, they'll just know. Remember, I want a little brother. Not a big problem. I think the camera angle is kind of cool that it's showing his perspective being that small. For your paperwork and everything seems to be in order, you seem like the kind of people with plenty of love to share. And plenty of money. We're tingling. <laughs> with anticipation. Time for you to meet them. The house reminds me of a guy I dated. <laughs> How do you pick a child? How could we possibly? Shoes, I know. They all seem so wonderful. That's wonderful. You both know what the other one is going to say before you even say it. Not that it's any of my business. Little women. Oh, Josh. No, I'm sorry. It's not a bad hiding place. That happens when you've been together as long as we have. Being a family. For family, you've certainly come to the right place. If you want a girl, Susan can read French. I think we were leaning towards a boy. Benny can do handstands. Andy can run 100 yards faster than you can say, ready, set, go. You certainly know a lot about everyone, don't you? That's what happens when you've been here as long as I have. It would be New Yorkers to be friendly to my... I mean, at least it's a mouse and not a rat. You shouldn't worry about choosing. You'll meet one of them, talk to him, and somehow you just know. You're prepared to handle his uniqueness? The devil is a liar! Uniqueness is a perfect fit for the little family. Perfect. We try to discourage couples from adopting outside their own... Species? Species. Yeah. It rarely works out. Well, it will in this case. You're kidding me! I might go ahead and get my snack and I'll be back. I'm angry. I'm upset. I'm upset! I know it's fiction, but damn. <laughs> There are children who need a real loving home from a two-parent household that can afford to take care of a child, and you pick the fucking mice? M. Night Shyamalan did the screenplay? How much is that house worth today, Miss New Yorker? They say every little in the world can find this house. They're very like Park Avenue people. And we are in 1045 Park Avenue, penthouse floor. How much for this place? For you? $10 million. Would you like a tour? I don't have any money. That's Uncle Crenshaw, Grandpa Spencer, and that's George. 
Your brother. He's already happy to see me. Well, that's just about everybody, except for... <laughs> You spit Stuart out this instant, Snowbell. Spit him right out. Oh, Stuart, all right. Y'all didn't think about that before? And for them, fancy feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. You must never harm Stuart, you understand? Or out you'll go, Mr. Snow. Not eat family members. That's a cute cat. Is he here? Is my brother here? He has a lisp. Stuart, this is George. This is Stuart, your new brother. No, really. The only one with some common sense. You look somewhat like a mouse. I have to go. Disappointed. Definitely thought he was gonna walk into the wall. I was kind of hoping for it too. Is it just me or did he seem a little disappointed? Ah! He's always a little tired after school. Perks up around dinner time. Mm. I'm a real boy! I'm not a puppet, I'm a real boy! Five shillings for the possessed toy. George, don't you have anything you want to ask Stuart? They have all this money, and this is what they no opted to do. Ask me anything. The first thing that pops into your head. That's a good looking yeast roll, too. Can you pass the gravy? <laughs> they have a gravy boat at dinner time. Look at that bedroom! I'm upset. Good night, Mom. Good night, son. Good night, sweetie. How old is he, though? I get where they're coming from, but I'm fucking upset. Now, you know I don't rock with cats like that, but in this case, I might be willing to make an exception. Nice kitty, pretty kitty. Are you cozy? Oh, the cat talks? All I've got to sleep on is a rag in the corner, you little rat. Ten, so I'm, I'm way past ten. Nathan Lane? You got a lot of nerve dragging your job, white ass in here. I can rub your tummy from the inside, mouse boy. I am not your pet. This is my family. Can't we share them? Read my furry pink lips. No. And stay away from the windows. The other cats find out about this. I'm ruined. The cat's animation is pretty, pretty good. How much did they pay Gina to do this role? I am hella curious. He's starting a girl's baseball league. They'll pay you $75 a week. $75 a week? Pull her leg for a while. Mine are long enough already. Where they magically get these pajamas all of a sudden? Where they get this? Oh! Girl, you know those miniature TikTok? Oh, I love them. Oh, I love them. You know them. I love them. You know I love them. George, I'm trying to get the laundry started. New pajamas. Okay. And I, oh, got attitude to be five. Dear. Well, we know New York City rodents can swim. I hate you so much right now. They're expert swimmers. Rats paddle with their back legs while their front feet steer. The tail also works as a kind of rudder. They can tread water for three days straight, and they can hold their breath underwater for up to three minutes. So, uh, thank goodness you're here. Can you help me? Can you turn this thing off? Why would I turn it off? Damn! It's my favorite show. <laughs> Snowbell, Snowbell, you can't leave me! I've got to stare at traffic, yawn, lick myself. Ciao! Are you sure that Stuart is happy here? Oh, he's having the time of his life. Oh, honey, please help me! His little fingers. Hi, Stuart. <laughs> Stuart! <laughs> I'm okay, Mom. <laughs> Who will clean up all that water? <laughs> Oh. A lad that size swallowing all that detergent. I think he's gonna be fine. Very clean. Oh, you like that? It's so exciting. Look at that whole new wardrobe. All this money. Look at them. This is giving me Richie Rich. Oh, perk up, son. Won't be long now before you're having tea and crumpets with the queen. This is making me angry. I wanted to talk to you about Stuart. I could spend some, some real time together. Brother time. Do you have a boat? It's not finished. Better get moving. The race is soon. I'm not so good at the racing part. Try like heck and you have fun. I'm not sure of the fabric, but it should breathe. Well, I'm sure we can find something to suit your... He passed away. He's in Angels in the Outfield. Sorry. Oh. I'm all wet. Barbados Ben. Chef Ben. Lumberjack Ben. Ooh, Lumberjack Ben. Gladiator oh. Ben. What if the occasion were a simple family party? These are the same kids from the orphanage. They just recycle the same actors. Don't come in. Bash. <clears throat> How do I look? Very smart. And you look just like a little. I was worried I was going to look just like Ben. <laughs> Everybody got money? Little high, little low. Little high, little low. Aw, he's in house, yes. Let me 
me wash your balls for you. Now, as long as I have this stick, you won't. We'll wash them together. Why don't you just chill out, okay? Yeah, I'll wash. You dry. The uh, little Barbie's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> this has a lot of people in it. Look at the presents. Uncle Crenshaw. Ah! There's my favorite little nephew. Now we have two favorite little nephews. A lot of gifts to open. Are any of those for me? Mm, negative. Yeah, uh huh. That's exactly what we thought. Attention, everybody. We'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Stuart. Yeah. Hello, everyone. He's, uh, uh... Adorable! Oh, yeah, that's a good thing in the word. That's a real smelling. Those are the best kind. If it ain't smelling, it, it ain't falling. Plant your caboose right up here. <laughs> you may have to grow into it. One summer, I just shut right up. Oh, my gosh, we're golden yes. girls! My Stan gave me an engagement ring. Excuse me. I just wanted to thank each of you because now I know fairy tales are real. I think I'm gonna cough up a furball. Cough it up, a big one. This is something that gave your father and me enjoyment when we were young brothers. This ball belonged to your great great grandfather, Jedediah Little. That old ass colonial George name. Marcy. Are you all not? <laughs> How's he gonna toss a baseball? How is he gonna do any of those things? He's not my brother, he's a mouse. Mic drop. Time to go. Yes. No. Yeah. Yep. Look at his little ears. Now, mind you, Stuart can't help that he is a mouse. But for the littles to put Stuart in that type of situation to set up to fail, what kind of parents are you? Stuart, did I hurt you? How long did it take him to get in there? What did you want to ask us? About my real family. You know, the ones I look like. He hates us. Something's missing, and I just want to know what was there before. If they're adopted, they want to know their lineage. I hope I haven't left you dismayed and disappointed. She's crying? And if you want us to, we'll find out about your real parents. Good night, then. You Good are night. his real parents. All that money, and it's like, well, can you spend money to find my real family? We can tell you where they're at. They're at Cat's Deli eating a fucking sandwich. Misshaped, shoddy meats. Look, 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 I haven't had a decent sandwich in 13 years. Are there problems with Stuart? No, no, no. Not at all. She warned you. Difficulties. 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 The cat trying to eat him when we first brought him home. He spat the boy right out, of course. Spat the boy right out. He wants to know about his family. You should have picked a regular human boy. Or they could have gotten him and a regular boy. I was about to say that. Hey, Snow, I, I know that you and I got off in the wrong pod. We could start off fresh. Get your hands off my bowl. No. I'm sorry, the cat gets me, though. Hey, Snow, let me in. I'm starving. Excuse me? Oh, food, no. food, Monty the Mouth. It'll be all over the neighborhood. Oh, pretty kitty. Go away. There's no food here. As long as it ain't meatloaf. Sorry, it's meatloaf. Beggars can't be choosers. You will take your straggly what? stray ass. I eat out of garbage cans, drink out of public toilets. Why are there strays in my fucking house? New York strays. Explain what? That you should stuff your face? It's a pretty cat. Gee, Monty, I don't want to rush you, but you really have to- Freeloading ass. It's New York. You can go find some stuff outside. What's wrong with you? Nothing. What is it? Worms? Fleas? Maybe you should see a vet. Okay. Says the stray cat. I'm not so happy with mine. Hands are always cold. What was that? What was that what? Huh? Run like the wind. Preloading. That was gross. Uh, hey, Snow, I almost forgot to thank you. What the... Oh, no. If you don't get your stray ass out my house... Huh? You must be a friend of Snowbells. I'm Stuart. <laughs> Uh, I'm, also, I'm also a member of this family. A mouse with a pet cat. <laughs> a mouse with a pet cat! Look at his little belly! I'm gonna wet my fur! <laughs> <laughs> Your new little master! Wait till the boys hear about this! I'm gonna tell you! Oh, dear. Yeah. What are you gonna do to him? If you can't do anything, you'll get in trouble. No more, Mr. Nice Goody. Very Tom and Jerry esque. <gasps> Get out of there! Oh. Take her with there! That's George's room! I just want to show you something. <laughs> My brother used to say that crap to me. <laughs> it's Blackwater! Every movie. That is Blackwater! What are you doing? Ah! Ah! That's a bad green screen, though. It was terrible. Oh, ooh. This is incredible! Being in a real live western. Raw, you lily livered son of a one eyed prairie dog! <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Is this a workroom or his bedroom? Mm hmm. They rich. You really are filthy rich, aren't you? Is, is that a train? Can we play with it? Please, 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 please. Oh! <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. 
nurses foiled again. Hey, that's my line. You. You're crazy. Much. I have an idea. Is that a Lego set? Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, it was red. Hop in. <laughs> this little walk. Roadster. First time I fit in since I got here. <laughs> oh. What's that? That's a wasp. She's beautiful. But she's not finished. I'm too little for a race like that. You're not little. Not to me. There's hundreds of people there. Everybody from school. What if she lost? Well, at least she'll have been somewhere. Come on, George. What do you say? I'm not really sure I want a brother. Well, how about a friend? I guess I could always use a friend. Have you seen Stuart? Yeah, terrible parents. Down here with me. What are you doing to him? He's helping me finish the wasp. That's wonderful, son. A basement in New York. The money. When's the next race? Two days. We'll be ready. All of us together. The whole family. Family. <laughs> I didn't realize the cat's vendetta was driving a lot of the storyline. You want to get rid of the mouse or not? Of course I do. Monkey, it's me. It's me, Monty. It's Snowbell here. These aren't New York cats. Snowbell. Now there's a manly name. They're too clean. I've got this mouse at home. I can't eat. Hey, bodega cats? They're not mutts. It's a member of the family. A mouse with a pet cat? That's sick. A cat can't have a rodent for a master. Word of this gets out, it'll be bad for cats all over. You think you can help me? Consider it done. Thank you, Mr. Smokey, sir. Who will win the race? Well, they finished it. Why are they matching? They're doing checks. This is the New York life I would love. It's gorgeous. Wow. You, Jimmy. Oh. Can we get some faucets? <laughs> Everything appears to be in ship shape. Lillian B. Walrath and Don Gartner. Oh, no, Anton. Key George. Get that out of a cereal box. Someone's got to finish last. I don't like that child. Oh, neither. Musha. Time to get those boats in the water in. Stuart, Race. could you get the remote? Aye, uh, Captain. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe we should go home. I'm not wearing my lucky underwear. You don't have lucky underwear. George. But you know what we say? The thing that really matters is to never stop trying, okay? Okay. Where's Stuart? Ah! Ah! Oh, Stuart, what happened? I, I couldn't grip it. Captain Loser. <laughs> All that work and you can't... Oh, my God, I'd be so Wait, mad. Don't put it on really blue. Everything is all right. No, no. A little glue? Who knows? A little glue? If you had some glue, I'm really good at gluing. I could just glue it. I ruined everything. These things happen. Be right back. George, just because we can't be in the race, family outing has to be ruined. I think we should just go home. Oh. And there's a mouse on the boat. Stuart. What? Stuart. <laughs> Stuart, you'll come back here this minute. I can't. You haven't been watching him the whole time. Now you want him to come back? Frederick, I don't like this one bit. Your mother doesn't like this one bit. Go, Stuart. You all done crying? Can you, like, mess up his hair? <laughs> Dumbass. George, I won't let you down. I'm not privileged enough for this. Remember, he's quite a fine swimmer. How's he getting in first place? Why are you cheating? Wow. You're trying to drown people? That's cheating. You can't do that. Just did. What? What? Whoa. Where is the referee? Where is the officials? I think he's hiking out. And the metaphor of the boat being smaller than that badass chap's boat. Hope that mouse can swim. Stuart, look out! We're taking on water! We have dressed in our best and are prepared to go down as gentlemen. Ah! That can't be good. Stupid mouse did it myself! He's not a stupid mouse, he's a stupid rat. Beat his ass! Beat his ass! George. Stuart! Can we take this kid to Juvie? Camp Green Lake. Or jail. Uh, well, I've never been to camp before. Something's wrong! What's happening? My brother. Nerdy ass fan. Nurse. This 
calls for a picture. You four look great together. Oh, this is the happiest moment of my life. Down here. Very sorry to disturb you at your lovely abode. I hope we're not intruding. My name's Reginald Stout. This is my wife, Camille. We're looking for Stuart. Reggie, just tell him. Where is parents? The voice of the female, Jennifer Tilly. I'm Cindy Figler. I'm Brooke's mom. I'm here for the emergency PTA meeting. Mm. Reggie. It's so good to see you again, Stuart. The most annoying so female voice actors. Please tell me that the cat hired them to be his parents. You weren't born into a prosperous home. We couldn't feed you, dear. Well, you got them eyelashes. What you gonna eat? George, please. An animal print? George, Stuart, I, I think we need to talk to the stats alone. Don't worry, mom and dad will take care. Stuart definitely looked 27. Mr. and Mrs. Stout, I'm afraid there's been a mistake. Stuart can't leave with you. He's one of the family. Exactly. There's something you'll never be able to that give. That ring is definitely fake. Right. You're human. No offense. Place that you'll never be able to fill. An empty space. But go through the legal system. You want me to leave? No. Oh, dear. We just want what's best for you. Bullshit! Stuart lives here. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. The Muppets! I'm sorry, every time he goes in his room, I keep thinking he's gonna hit the wall. I don't understand. I don't fucking understand either! Fairy tales are made up stories, Stuart. Regardless if they're his biological parent, you can't trust them. You signed the papers and you're kicking him out! I'm upset. Yo! Yo, Dex! How are they able to hail a cab? They're able to hail a cab easier than I'm able to hail a cab. <laughs> These are the types of parents you could very easily get away with doing credit card fraud. They don't check their bank statements. Don't fucking kiss me, Gina Davis. They have dinner together maybe once a week. I love you too, Mom. Mrs. Little. Yeah, Mrs. Little. This is annoying. Give me the fuck out of your paw. I'm telling you, look, that's white people for you. Throw your ass out to dry. Get a whiff of uncertainty. You could put him in the cab. Put him on the cab? You need some help with that, Camille? Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. Let's do something. Let's just make them go away. And you can pay them. Rational, schmational. Something about this is not right. I just know it. I don't know you. You're not taking my child. Stuart's mother, I ought to. But you're not. Yes, I am. Legally, no, she's not. I am his no, she's Legally, not. I am his mother. Wait. Come on. There we go. I want you to have this. He's on his knees in the New York City sidewalk in that in tux. That suit. I wish you didn't have to go. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, George. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. That is a modern mouse Tesla. Wait, they live across from Central Park? Is that Central Park? I'm upset. Yo ass. Oh, you motherfucker. You see that grin? <laughs> oh, the Twin Tower. They're going to Brooklyn. They're driving to Brooklyn, damn. It takes me about 45 minutes to drive to Brooklyn. How long would it take them, like six days? Well, there we are, Stewie. The family home. You like Palm Beach, Stewie? How's it prepared? Drops out of a fat guy's mouth, we grab it and run. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Seriously. Hey, I'm serious about those bed bugs. Keep an eye open. He doesn't even feel the love from them. You know what I mean? Kind of you to come and check on us like this. Had something to tell you. They had an accident. Who? Oh. Stuart's parents. Oh. Mm. They were grocery shopping, canned food aisle, unsteady pyramid of cans, and it collapsed. Cream of mushroom soup, two for one sale. That's a very heavy soup. <laughs> They've been gone for years. How is that possible? Stuart's parents came and took him away three days ago. Stuart's parents died in a tragic cream mushroom soup incident years ago. I know you are not going to be spending city resources. I'm upset. I'm Detective Sherman. This is my partner, Detective Allen. Ah, 
he's in the mask. He's a detective in the mask. Get him! Dial! They know about the stouts! The jig is up! I'm in deep puppy doo! We do what we should have done in the first place. We scratch him out. I don't want to get kicked out of my house. And I'm a house cat. Stuart Little gets scratched tonight. You'll have to come downtown. Y'all suck as parents. You want it straight? No. Absolutely not. Stuart's probably home right now waiting for you. What do they want? Where's the boy? Oh no. We're taking you for a ride. Where are we going? Some friends of ours have gathered just to meet you. Oh! Ow! Tell him the truth! You made a deal with a cat? It was curtains. You agreed to pose as my parents? You took me away from the littles. Yes! That's wonderful! Feeling so sad. Well, I'm not a stout, I'm a little. I'm Stuart! The cats have decided you're too risky to keep around anymore. As your fake father, I order you to run. Every little in the world can find the little house. Bye, fake father. Bye, fake mother. Bye, fake son. Oh, that right here. 67 Fifth Avenue, I need What's going on? Peggy posters. We're going to put them up all over the city. That'll stop trying, right, Dad? Uh, we need a picture of Stuart. Family photo. Bad news. The stout squealed. I knew those mice were rats. He's got to go through the park, right? Let's meet him and have ourselves a little picnic. What goes down in Central Park after dark? You don't go there after dark. So this is a child, essentially, in a mouse's body, alone at night in New York City. In Central Park after dark. A little lost. <gasps> How you doing? You must be Stuart. Actually, I must be going. What's your hurry, Murray? That going, is a street yes, cat. Hey! Get away, Smokey! Red, get him! I got him, Smokey! You got it. Well, we know where Fast and Furious 5 got it from. The sewer rot's alive! I'm a cat. I don't do water. I made it. Oh, yeah, I'm coming! It's me, Stuart! I'm back! It's just you and me, kid. Ever since you left, it's just movies, parties, roller skating. They're having the time of their lives. They were just so happy to get rid of you. You know that cat doesn't That's fuck with you. I don't believe that. He's a child. He's impressionable. Look up there. Evil ass cat. Oh, his little face. They did that right after you left. Who wants to look at that face anymore? I'd give you the pieces, but Mr. Little set them on fire. I told you it wasn't gonna work out. I guess I'll just... Leave immediately? Good idea. Bye, Silwell. Come on, it's getting late. Time to go. Wait until somebody calls me, tells us where Stuart is. Look at him sulking. I'm upset. I'm gonna waste. Damn, remember those phones? If we don't find Stuart, it's gonna break his heart. One of the guys spotted Stuart in the park. Smokey sent me to get you. Stuart is gone. Can't we just give the kid a break? First we'll break his little arms, then we'll break his little legs. Come on, we gotta run. Didn't your mothers warn you not to go into Central Park at night? Uh. Oh. What are you doing up there? I'm settling in. Stuart, you gotta get out of here. It's dark out. There are hungry cats all over the place. What's he doing here? Shh. Why shouldn't he hear me? You found him, that a boy! Snow found him! And when we cough up the mouse, you get the big half! Snowbell, well, what's he talking about? You know those cats? What are you waiting for? No, stop! Wait, no, put me down! I'll break his fall with my mouth! I guess you do know him. What are you waiting for? Where are you going? Get him! He's getting away! Go, go! go. Snowbell, you saved me. Let's get one thing straight. I'm doing this for the littles, all right? They're all miserable without you. I lied, okay? Welcome to Manhattan. <laughs> I'm the one that hates you. Ah, uh, Snowbell, you do care. Uh, I can't help but think this is wrong. What the hell's going on here? I want to call this whole thing off. Too late. He's... Say it. He's family. Scratch them both. Both? <laughs> Dear. Mouse on a stick. I love mouse on a stick. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, what hey, branch hey. is gonna? Well, what have we got here? Just hang on. I'll take it from here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, 
I had my crush just the way I like it. Look at myself for days. Pack up the pineapple, Stuart. This luau's over. Thanks, Nobel. Not bad for a house cat. For a dead house cat. Say goodnight, Tinkerbell. His name is Snowbell. <laughs> what is damn cold? I've never ridden a cat bareback before. Don't get used to it. I miss you all okay. so much, Dad. I, I don't understand. Ugh, I kiss him after you've been out in Central Park. Snowbell couldn't have done it without him. This is how people look. At the end of a fairy tale. Exactly. Let's give it a freckle scar. All righty. It is time for Brooke and I to give Stuart Little its official freckle score. I didn't expect to like this. I was angry. I was upset. I'm still upset that you could have a two parent household filled with love, a child eager to be a big brother, money issues, lineage issues, access and opportunity issues, not here. And you pick the one creature that can bathe itself. As a matter of fact, that creature knew all of the specs of every child in the orphanage. You didn't need a damn secretary. He knew all the paperwork. The cat's up to fucking no good shenanigans and shit. A house cat willingly hanging around with New York City street alley, Central Park bodega, Brooklyn cats. Just to put his ass, that little tail on the curb and say, fuck your shit and get out my house. Because you had some knockoff mice from the Sopranos and their New Jersey dumpster best. I see fucking cheetah print, New Jersey dumpster's finest. Just to say we're sorry. I'm upset with all the little children out there. The children outside the children's hospital in Home Alone 2. And that's how you end that shit? I I was really enjoying it. I hate to admit that publicly, but y'all can tell by my facial expressions. Until y'all put that horse nanny poo poo bullshit in front of me. Because of the A-list cast, because of how good the 3D animation looked for Stuart, because of how the animation looked for when the animals were talking, their mouth movements, spot on. My freckle score for Stuart Little is going to be three out of five freckles. I knew you were gonna enjoy it. I thought it was cute. I really enjoyed the movie. Three and a half freckles. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Your thoughts. <laughs> Drop your thoughts in the comments below. How you feel about Stuart Little. If you agree or disagree with our freckle scores, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. A fourth of the storyline was the damn cat. He wanted Stuart out the house. He didn't want Stuart to die. And in the process of realizing that he didn't want Stuart to die, he realized he actually kind of liked him. He realized that his fucking owners were having PTSD, anxiety, and depression. And for his quality of life to not suffer, he need to bring his little white ass back to the crib and show him how I live. The film was a creative challenge for Rob Minkoff, a director of The Lion King, to create the first photorealistic digitally generated character in movie history. Stuart Little, it's a, an exciting breakthrough because it's never been done before. John Dykstra, the special photographic effects supervisor for Star Wars. There will be uh, animatronics, meaning mechanically animated characters. The first time that a character's been dressed in CGI clothing.